All right, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And today I'm actually posting two separate Western New York Wednesday reviews, and both of them come from the Froth Brewing Company, and they're out of Buffalo, New York. And this is the second one, and it is their Strawberry Danish. So they are calling this one a Pastry Blonde Ale, which is a blonde ale that is brewed with strawberry, vanilla glaze, and lactose. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. This can is just over three weeks old. So something different from Froth. So today I'm doing another double feature, uh, double feature, double dip, uh, reviewing two Froth beers for Western York Wednesday. I did the same thing last week. Now last week I reviewed two liquid lollipops. Earlier today I reviewed another one, but we got something different here, a pastry blonde ale. So it seems to me when you're talking about pastry beers, you know, pastry styles are pretty big. Pastry sours are pretty big. But I've had quite a few uh, pastry blondales. I've actually reviewed probably half a dozen or so on the channel. And it seems to be uh, the prominent base that if you're not doing a stout or you're not doing a sour, it seems like blondales work probably because of the breadiness from a uh, blondale. You know, in this in this case, you're talking about a Danish. Probably the breadiness from the malt character can provide that like Danish base. I don't know. But uh, they're using strawberry puree, as you can tell by the look of this one, vanilla glaze and lactose. They're going for a strawberry Danish in pastry blondale form. We'll see if they're going to do it. Now, I will say that I uh, gave a couple cans, actually bought the four pack, gave two of them to uh, my dad, Average Pops, and um, he loved it. He thought, he, honestly, this is his favorite beer from uh, Froth, and he tries all the liquid lollipops, and this was just his jam. So, yeah, anyway, now, like I do with all the heavily fruited beers, usually they're sour ales. Uh, if it uses puree, you know, can referment the whole nine and potentially gush or explode. I pour these off camera, and I did. Nothing happened. We're all right. Now, you can see the residue from the, uh, the residue from the strawberry puree, but that has this, like, really deep deep red color almost turning into almost a purplish kind of tinge uh you know super murky and turbid uh, i had about a three finger of this light pink head and uh yeah that just looks like something that has strawberry puree in it for sure no doubt so uh let's get a nose <laughs> it smells like strawberry fucking danish yeah that's crazy to me so the first thing that hits me is that vanilla like the vanilla glaze and it smells like vanilla glaze that is on a danish uh, or like a, you know, like a, like a, any kind of glaze, like on a, some kind of pastry, whether it's a Danish or like a coffee cake or something, it just has that like vanilla, almost creaminess to it. Underneath it, I do get the strawberries. They're not super like punching me in the face, but I get it. And then there's a breadiness to the base. This honestly smells like some kind of pastry, like strawberry pastry with a vanilla glaze on it. That's what it smells like. It does smell fucking sweet though. That's the only thing that I am kind of concerned about when it comes to this beer um, specifically is that it might be too sweet. Um, you know, some of their liquid lollipops lean to the sweeter side and some are pretty sweet. And those are sours where you can like kind of balance it with the tartness. This, you really don't have anything to balance that out. Um, so I'm hoping that it's not crazy sweet, but it smells sweet. Man, I cannot get over how that smells like strawberry Danish. Man, fuck, it smells awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's my, fuck my life. I thought this was going to be sickly sweet, like based on the nose. Don't be wrong, it's sweet. But I think that strawberry puree and using strawberries has a little bit of tartness. And strawberries sometimes, you know, aren't super sweet. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not, this is not crazy sweet. Body on this one, higher side and medium, like medium to higher side. Even though you're using a strawberry puree, this is not like, you know, a fruit smoothie or something. Um, but it does have a viscosity that is definitely higher than a 5% beer should be. The uh, mouthfeel on this one, there is not a lot of carbonation. Definitely under carbonated. It has a little bit, but it's soft, it's smooth. Yeah, the mouthfeel and body, pretty good. The taste fucking just, just I don't know, it's a mind fuck. Right from, I'm hit with like this strawberry, slight jamminess, but there's a tartness, and that's right at the forefront. But then as it continues through the palate, there's this like breadiness, this doughiness, probably from the base Blondale, that kind of hits, and that's underlying, and then over top of that comes that, sh that uh, vanilla glaze. So it's almost like you had some kind of dough with glaze on it with strawberries, which would, yes, replicate a strawberry danish to some degree. It finishes sweet, but not sickly sweet. Like I said, I was worried at this moment. I mean, 
there's an eight ounce mark here on the bottom. I'm like an ounce and a half away from that. This is 16 ounce. I've drank like already at least six ounces of this. It's super easy to drink. It's not crazy sweet to my palate. And they kind of hit the nail on the head with the strawberry danish. I can't taste 5%. This is a fun fucking beer. Wow. Like so many of these froth beers though, they're not super complex. But more often than not, what they say that's in, in the beer is kind of what I'm getting in the taste. It, I taste the strawberry uh, puree. I taste the vanilla glaze. The lactose probably just helping with the sweetness and the mouthfeel and whatnot. And yeah, the one worry I had about this was it going to be sickly sweet. It's sweet, but not overly so. This is not cloying yet. And I've drank almost half the can. It's a, it's a fucking good beer. I don't know. What, I don't know what to say. Yeah, strawberry Danish from Froth. I'm going to give this a high 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.6 out of 5. I did not think I was going to give this 4.6. And I always say, don't come into reviews with preconceived notions. Don't come in there thinking, oh, I'm going to give this beer a four. And then I just thought based on the name of it, based on the, you know, the, the basis of Blondale, I thought this was going to be a bit too sweet for me. Even if they nailed the flavors, maybe it wouldn't work, you know, perfectly from my palate. I actually, you know, kind of went into this one thinking I probably will like it, but it's probably going to be cloying. And it's not. I don't know if they have cans of this left at uh, the brewery, but I will say if you're somebody who doesn't like the sour ales and you want to try something with a bunch of fruit puree in it and just a different thing, just a unique beer, something that's a strawberry Danish, then give this a go because this drinks to me like a strawberry Danish in blonde ale form. It has the strawberries, it has the vanilla glaze, it has the doughy breadiness from the base blonde ale. It's not sickly sweet, although you could argue, you know, sometimes straw danishes can be very sweet. Um, but what I like about it, it has a reserved drinkability to it that I didn't anticipate, and I know I'm going on and on about it, but it, to me, it just kind of blows my mind because I was thinking this is just going to be like, I drink half the can, I wish I would have split it. I'm going to just fucking tear up the rest of this off camera. It's going down, all of it. Um, so yeah, 4.6 out of 5, strawberry danish from froth. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it price and availability uh mostly at the brewery they get drips and drabs out to like rochester and whatnot mostly brewery price point 22 dollars a four pack I'm talking 550 a can for something that's five percent i still think this is worth it um they pretty much nailed the flavors uh i don't really care about the abv they nailed the flavors and for 550 a can this is this is highly enjoyable so uh, it's cheaper than their liquid lollipop series which is 25 dollars a four pack so if you want something a little bit more you know a little cheaper maybe in your wheelhouse and want something different that's not a sour ale definitely seek this one out because i'm digging it so yeah uh not much more to say about strawberry danish froth 4.6 out of 5 like i said if you've had this one before let me know what you think about it appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol check out another west new york wednesday next week like i said it's probably going to be another double dip probably a couple liquid lollipops and froth until i get rid of them out of in my fridge i think i have like three or four more so yeah we're going to have a lot of liquid lollipops over the next couple weeks whatever i enjoy drinking them hopefully you enjoy watching reviews cheers <laughs>